Hi, welcome back to Sophia's Art Supply Review where I review an art product every week and give you my honest opinion on them. In this video, I would be unboxing the Nevskaya Palatra's Ladoga series of artist oil colors. Incidentally, Nevskaya Palatra are the same manufacturers as the very popular White Knight series and also the Masterclass, Sonnet and the Decola brands. The Ladoga artist paints are designed not only for beginners but also for professional artists. These series are known to contain high quality paints at affordable prices. What makes these series unique is that instead of expensive inorganic pigments like cadmium and cobalt, Ladoga uses light fast organic pigments which are not only bright and rich in color but are also non-toxic. And since Ladoga brand is made in the same manufacturing unit as the Masterclass series, it also uses the same superior quality of linseed oil binder. The Ladoga oil color palette includes 54 colors. This box that I'm reviewing contains 12 colors of 18 ml tubes and is priced at Rs. 1695. Let's begin with the outer packaging. Now what's noteworthy is the fact that despite other popular brands being manufactured by Nevskaya Palatra, each brand has its own unique identity and branding. Here you can see that Ladoga has a very simple but elegantly designed logo and packaging. They have used muted yet mature colors on the packaging, which I'm certain appeals to a large segment of artists. The text in the box is written both in Russian and English for the benefit of their local consumers as well as their international loyalists. The names of the colors with their light fastness are also mentioned here, but there is no swatch card provided. As you open up the box and ease out the plastic tray, what catches the eye is the aesthetically designed metallic tubes held within. Each of these shiny tubes have the Nevskaya Palatra logo imprinted on the bottom. The coloured paper label wrapped around the tube provides ample details regarding the colours. Here you have the colour name and the colour number. For instance, this is Cadmium Red Deep Hue and the colour number is 303. The term hue indicates that the expensive synthetic pigments in the paint has been replaced by light fast organic pigments that replicates the exact tone. For the convenience of the user, the colors that are created with the replacement of pigments are indicated on the label with the letter A for analog. This basically means that while a different organic pigment was used to make this paint, it corresponds to the tone of the original colors. The fine print on the label also provides the exact pigment used to make the colour. For instance, this colour is made up of PR4 and PR170. This information is especially helpful for artists while mixing paints to create newer colours. Other details like the light fastness is represented by asterisk and the transparency is denoted by a square box. The palette of paints consists of colours most demanded by artists and includes two sets of primary colours in warm and cool tones, a set of greens, browns and also white and black. The Ladoga oil paints are set to mix well with each other, opening up a potential to create a large variety of new colours. Now let's do a swatch test on oil paper to test these paints. The first impression that I get as I apply the paint is that it has a thick and heavy body consistency. But once the solvent is touched onto the brush, the paint takes on a buttery texture and they're easy to manipulate around. The colours look quite vibrant and visually seem to have a good amount of pigment load. There is however an unpleasant odour to the paint so I would recommend a well aerated room while using them. The palette definitely has a good selection of colours but I feel that I'm missing a rich cool red like an alizarine crimson. The viridian looks more like sap green which I'm happy about since it's my favourite kind of green but I'm not too sure about how the cobalt green would play out while mixing. Well there's only one way to find out and that's to do a small oil sketch. The Ladova oil paints mix quite well with each other and they are a pleasure to use. 
The palette is also versatile, although the absence of a good cool red is noticeable. I really needed a bright popping purple for this painting and I just wasn't able to push that through without that red. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the tonal variation I was able to create with this set. Overall, to sum up the review, there are a few hits and misses when it comes to these paints. Let's begin with the negative first. It's just a personal opinion, but I wish this box had an alizarine crimson or something similar. But I understand that they can't have a box that meets everyone's expectations, which is why they have the option of picking up loose paints from their white colour choices. The other issue is the unpleasant odour, which is more noticeable when you squeeze out fresh paint, but it does fade out after a bit. On the positive side, the range has 54 colours to choose from if you decide on creating your own palette. The colours are bright and vibrant with high pigment content. The texture is thick which makes it quite versatile as one can apply thick brush strokes or even use it for painting with palette knives. These paints also boast of replacing expensive inorganic pigments like cadmium and cobalt with light fast organic pigments and this makes them non-toxic and also affordable. They also share the same oil binder that is used for the more expensive Nevskaya Palatra products. All these qualities make them a great choice for beginners as well as professionals. If you want an art product to be reviewed, don't forget to mention it in the comment section below. Also, follow me on my Instagram handle, Sophia underscore Art Supply Review, for sneak peeks into upcoming videos. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.